Hey guys! Good morning! Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. My name is Addy. So for today's video, let's talk about e-travel scam. So you guys don't be a victim of it. Details coming right up. So once again, the Bureau of Immigration wants to remind the traveling public to be very cautious when it comes to e-travel registration because there's quite a bit of our subscribers here in our community who are victims of this e-travel fraud. As we all know, e-travel is an entry requirement to the Philippines. You must register e-travel within 72 hours prior to your departure to the Philippines. And when you type in e-travel, in your computer or in your phone there are quite a bit of websites that would pop up that offers e-travel QR code there is only one legitimate e-travel website and that is e-travel.gov.ph if you guys happen to register with a website that's not e-travel.gov.ph then pretty much they are going to charge you because this websites well, yes, give you an e-travel QR code, but they will charge you for it. e-travel.gov.ph is 100% free. You should not be paying anything just to get the e-travel QR code to the Philippines. This is what the Bureau of Immigration wants to remind everybody coming to the Philippines to make sure to register only on the legitimate website of e-travel and to report this website that pretends and offers e-travel QR code for an amount. I have subscribers before that were charged for 65 bucks. There was one for $115. So you should not be paying a penny to get a QR code because like I have mentioned, e-travel qr code is 100 percent free so this is still required to those who are traveling to the philippines this month you can register within three days prior to your departure if you are not capable of doing this to register yourself for e-travel you can ask your friend or your family to help you register with e-travel you can print this out or you can save it on your phone for checking later on i have heard recently and i have read some comments that e-travel were not checked anymore so i am going to explain this again though i have already explained this in some of my videos that if your e-travel is not checked this is what happened during your check-in when the airline staff would scan your passport to get your boarding pass they can actually see in the system that you have registered e-travel so they're not gonna ask you anymore but there are airlines that would randomly ask for a QR code for e-travel some during arrival in the Philippines and it usually happened during immigration process and to those travelers who just recently arrived in the Philippines what's your experience have somebody asked you for e-travel if one of you were asked for e-travel, what airline is this and what process is this during your arrival into the Philippines. Please care to share. That way we can give our community a heads up on which airline is still asking e-travel during check-in or if an immigration officer is asking for QR code for the e-travel. Because as we speak, majority that we received from traveling public that e-travel has not been checked anymore it doesn't mean that it's not required anymore it's still required e-travel actually is the replacement of the paper-based arrival form that you guys used to fill out before when you arrive in the Philippines so this is not going anywhere I know I get a lot of complaints about e-travel I know some of you wants it gone but unfortunately it's not going to be gone because this is the digital version of the arrival form that you used to fill out at the airport so there is no arrival form anymore at the airport if you are landing in Manila you have to register with e-travel if you are landing in Clark International Airport still you have to register with e-travel 
if you land in Cebu, still you have to register with e-travel. And if you land in Davao, still you have to register with e-travel. E-travel is an entry requirement to all inbound travelers to the Philippines, whether you are a foreign passport holder or a Philippine passport holder. Now, if you are departing from the Philippines, e-travel is only required for Philippine passport holder. If you are a U.S. citizen on a U.S. passport going back to America, you don't need to register with e-travel because as I've said, e-travel is only required to Philippine passport holders when you leave the Philippines. When you travel to the Philippines, you must register. So I hope there is no confusion on that because I've read one comment in one of our videos that e-travel is only for Filipinos. That's actually wrong. E-travel is only for Philippine passport holders if you depart from the philippines going abroad if you are entering the philippines all foreign passport philippine passport holders must register with e-travel so that is within 72 hours prior to your departure don't forget to register because this is still required and also please don't forget to check the description box of this video i always make sure to include the links that you guys may use when you travel to the Philippines. The legitimate websites of e-travel, legitimate websites of declaration form and stuff. Please do check it out because I have posted all the links that you guys may need in your travel to the Philippines. So this is our quick travel update. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or inquiries with regards to this video, or in any of our travel related videos please comment it down below and i will try to get back to you guys as soon as i can or you can direct message me in our facebook page same handle the eton squad or in our instagram page the eton squad official again guys thank you thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel and to our family i hope to see you on our next travel update stay safe stay healthy and god bless everyone bye